The theory of change is the premise underlying any social intervention, a hypothesis for how a particular set of actions can lead to a desired social outcome. A theory of change highlights causal relationships between resources deployed, actions taken, and the intended effects or results that you hope to achieve. Developing one allows you to track what your assumptions are, if you're making progress as intended, and if you need to change your approach later on. Traditionally, theories of change are developed by organizations such as foundations and nonprofits to guide their program strategy. However, for the purpose of this course, and I hope for your philanthropy going forward, we're going to mix it up a little bit, and each of you will apply these same principles to your giving. Theories of change can get really complicated really quickly, but at the core of the concept, they generally same, share the same basic structure. Let me explain. We want to articulate what our social goals are, what resources we have to invest, and how we plan to reach those goals. To do this, we'll start by outlining our intended impact. What change do we want our philanthropic work to bring about? Once this social goal is in place, we should think through what resources we are going to invest towards achieving our impact. We call these resources inputs. The inputs could be our time, money, co-investors, or the resources of other organizations or people. The scale of our inputs will directly correlate to the scale of our desired impact in an ideal world. Next, we will define what specifically needs to be done with our inputs to achieve our impact. We then chart out the actions that we need to take and the programs or services that nonprofits must provide. Following activities are our output. These are the specific results of the actions we take and the programs or services nonprofits provide. And finally, we end where we began at our outcomes, which are the milestones that indicate the social improvements we aspire to make. Our theory of change helps us determine which strategies best align with our unique assets and goals. When developing a theory of change, you will ideally be able to answer these key questions. One, what specific outcomes do you hope to achieve? Two, what are the current external conditions within which you are working, economic, cultural, social, political, etc.? Three, what resources do you have available to you? Expertise, technology, partnerships, relationships, money, time, influence, etc. Four, what actions will you take to achieve your goals and why do you think it is that these are the actions that will make you successful? Five, what actions will your nonprofit or nonprofits need to take to achieve your goals, and why do you think these are the actions that will make them successful? Six, how will you evaluate the impact of both sets of activities? And seven, how are you achieving your desired outcomes, and how will you know if you are making progress along the way? As you conduct research, keep these questions in mind. These answers will help you understand where your highest leverage opportunities are, as well as where and how you should invest your resources.